Hello again, mates. I hope everything's okay. As I claimed in the first video, anyone can make a game. Let's get to work without wasting time. In the first video, we prepared the landscape where our game will take place. We need to limit this area. Otherwise, our character may fall down when he reaches the end of the map. We should add more trees first. The edges of the map should not be visible to the player. At the same time, we'll give the effect of a darker forest. But before that, we'll do some editing and landscape. Let's switch to landscape mode. Here we click on Sculpt. Let's start to raise the ground with light touches. We need to make all the edges look like a mountain. You can do it as you like, of course. Now let's switch to Foliage Mode and add some more trees. Yes, our forest is starting to look the way we want. Now it's time to add our vehicle to the scene. When we search for Vehicle Variety Pack in the Marketplace, we will encounter a free package. Let's add it to our project immediately. You can add the vehicle you want to the scene from the Meshes directory in the relevant folder. According to our scenario, we came to the forest with our vehicle. Let's turn on the lights of the vehicle to give this effect. Let's add some lights. Yes, that's better. Then click on the plus icon and add the Nav Mesh Bounds object to our scene from the Volumes tab. We should place it to cover all edges of our map. Let's add the person we're looking for to our scene. Unfortunately, he'll be dead. We need a character. For this, we go to Mixamo.com, create an account, and select our character from the Characters tab and the Pose of the Character from the Animations tab. We press the Download button. We select Format as FBX. We select with Skin from the Skin section. Now we can download. We import the downloaded file to Unreal Engine with drag and drop. What should be selected in the window that opens for import? Skeletal Mesh, Import Mesh, Import Animations. We can continue by pressing Import All. Let's find our character among the imported files. We drag the character lying on the ground, not the T-pose, to our stage. Let's position it a little away from our character. Yes, the person we are looking for is lying there. Let's decorate the crime scene a bit. Find the free decal add on Megascan's blood in the marketplace and add it to our project. You can choose the decal you want. I chose an intense decal and placed it on our character lying on the ground. Let's take a look at our murder scene with the help of a temporary light. Now it's time for evidence and tips. With Photoshop or an equivalent application, drag a file about the size of A4 paper into the old paper coating that you can find from Google. And let's write an article we want. Let's save it as PNG. Then drag the PNG file to our project. Firstly, let's go to the Horror Engine folder and go to the Blueprints, Usable Assets, Inventory Directory. Let's drag the paper here to our scene. Then, let's find the Paper Settings section in the Details menu on the right. We can change the front page and back page textures. I use the same texture for both. Let's position the paper on the tree. Now, we have added our first clue to our scene. In the next part, we will model a hut in Blender 3D and import it into our game. We will place a few different puzzles and make things interesting. If you click the subscribe button, and if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you click the like button. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.